This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you're okay. Let's turn the light on. Hopefully you're all right. I've just done a POV video driving in the dark, um, which by the time this video comes out, you've probably already seen that one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know. We're now continuing on from that day. We just arrived at Chap. Give off. We just arrived at Chap in Swindon at half past five in the morning and um, straight in, straight to the front. Can't believe it. <laughs> and I'm just saying give over now because there's another truck over there. I think it's just getting fuel. I thought for a second then it was like queuing up or something, but maybe not. But yeah, we're getting loaded. Can't believe it. Straight in. So in this video, it's gonna be quite a short video, I think. We've got to go deliver this to Stonehouse, um, which is like Muller. Um, and then we've got to go to the sawmill, get some timber, and then we're gonna to go to Silverstone. That is the plan for today. But for now, we need to go get loaded, let them load us up, and not allowed out the truck and strapping up or anything like that until they until they finished. Once they're finished, we move over to the, the side over there. I'll start strapping up and then I'll see you over there. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, there we are. Uh, it is two minutes past six. If you're wondering why it's so dark down this side, don't worry, so am I. <laughs> it's a bit hard to see when strapping up, but got it done, got it done. Obviously you can see fine this side because uh, all the lights are shining on the left-hand side. But yeah, anyway, let's go grab our paperwork. Thank you very much. And there she is. Anyway, let's jump in the truck, go and get this delivered. Um, like I was saying, I did think we were going to be here a while, but we got let straight in, which is good. Which means the delivery will be made on time today. Yeah, boy. Right. Ugh. Get the engine on. Hard out can go back up there. I don't think that's needed for the rest of the day. I is off. Fold away nicely. <laughs> okay. I'm thirsty now. Have I got a drink left over? Oh, yes, I got a can of Monster. I like this flavour. Aussie lemonade. It's a very nice flavour. Lemonade. That'll do me. That'll do me, donkey. Right. Right, into gear. Oh, hang on. The phone's in my pocket, I can go up there, out of the way. Lovely, into gear, handbrake off. Hang on, one last thing. I don't think it's gonna, um, there's, there's no low bridges on the way, but I need to change my height on the sat nav just in case it tries to detour me down somewhere and I completely forget, so change my height. I've, uh, I always put down on 4.8 meters when I'm 20 high, as opposed to 4.20. Uh, yeah, 4.20 and 4.80, something like that now. So, yes! And we want to cut across Iron Sister, not go down to Cheltenham, like the satin I was trying to take me. Cut across, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, I had the beacons on um, earlier. You might, have, you might be able to catch it in the previous video, the POV, but I had my beacons on like this. And he was not happy. <laughs> A forklift driver was not happy that I had my beacons on. Lights off! He goes, lights off! Does it, why? Unnecessary! <laughs> I said it's safety. Unnecessary! Yeah, all right, whatever. I'm quite impressed with how quick that was there. I wasn't, I, if you saw my last video of the POV, I turned up and um, I should have started a little bit earlier, to be honest with you. Because I, I had to deliver to Stonehouse for 7.30. Um, 
and I knew I needed to leave chat by 6.30 to be able to make that delivery on time. So I knew I needed to be loaded. So I should have really... Have, you know what chat's like. Sometimes you're in straight away. Sometimes you're there for four hours. So probably the best thing to do would have been to turn up and give at least two hours um, sort of t- time scale to, to, to get loaded. So I should have really have arrived at Habas 4. But we were lucky and we got let straight in. And so we turned up at Habas 5, we were straight in. And as you saw, at 6.02 we were fully strapped up. So within 30 minutes we were loaded and strapped. Which is ain't, ain't bad at all, is it? You know, considering probably a good 10 minutes of that, 15 minutes was just loading. The other 15 minutes was just me strapping that up. I think I strapped that up quite quick, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite impressed with myself. Anyway, you probably can't see me at all, so I'm going to go. I will see you a little bit later. Hopefully it's a little bit lighter. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, you joined me a mile and a half away from the delivery point in Stonehouse. We have decided not to stop. We've just gone straight to the job. Um, so we'll be there in about four minutes. ETA will be 7.10. Uh, we'll get in, unstrap, jump back in the truck, and then uh, we'll just basically wait there until someone offloads us. It is due at 7.30, so I'm kind of not expecting anyone to unload me until 7.30. But if someone wants to unload me straight away, <laughs> they are more than welcome to. <laughs> we shall see. Oh, the windows have suddenly gone all misted. Let's put some, uh, some heated mirrors on weird that it's like we've suddenly gone cold or something well it's 14 degrees it's not even cold it's a bit weird we get them heated up right round we go lovely jubbly indicate left brilliant yeah there's that noise again you might have heard that in my last video at the start does anyone know what that noise is I got a funny feeling it's Something to do with, like, going too fast around a bend, potentially. What do you think? Let me know. Yeah, we're going right. So it's kind of, is it right turn or straight over turn? I don't really know. We'll indicate anyway. You're not indicating. Now we indicate left. I wonder if you can do a night out down here. Might happen one day. And we want to turn left into here. Okay, here we are. Parked up. Yeah, he was saying that these were too bright for him. <laughs> Did make me laugh. Um, right, so let's get on the strap in. We've got to take off. Hang on. Better undo that door, actually. Get that door unlocked and then we can... Got to get these lockers open. That one. Uh, where are you? There you are. That one. We need to unlock the passenger door. Now we can go and get the other one unlocked. These are all my, uh, all my equipment stays. And then unlock this one as well. There we go. And then we can put the, um, basically the ratchets, all the ratchets stay on this side. All the straps stay in the other side, is what we do. Right, let's get undoing.
that's all the uh, the ratchet is done. So now we just need to go around the other side and roll up all of the straps. So we go back around here. The reason I opened up this top one is because I've got some goodies in here, including a strap winder. So yeah, now we just undo all the straps. Very simple. And the best bit of money you'll ever spend is on one of these. Because it makes things a lot quicker. Right, straps are off. We are being unloaded as well. I was doing the other side first. I thought maybe I'd ask you to have a guess how many pallets you think's on there. How many do you think? Now, don't cheat, but yeah, I just thought maybe it'd be a good idea. Um, one has been taken off the back row and also obviously some on the other side as well. So take your guess and I'll let you know. The answer is 520. 520 pallets. You know, I think some companies would pay you like a couple of pounds per pallet as well. So it's well over a thousand pounds worth of pallet on there. Um, which is a lot more than what we get paid for the job. <laughs> and as for the damage that I did to the truck, I don't think you'd really be able to tell if I if you didn't point it out to you. I don't think you'd really be able to tell that there was any damage. Maybe ever so slightly facing upwards. But yeah, it's looking good. Okay, that's just loaded now. We are now heading out of the site and um, onto the main road. So I will see you at the sawmill. See you in a bit. There's that beeping again. I wasn't even going around a bend. Does anyone know what that beeping is? I've got no idea. See you in a bit. So I said I might see my wife and kids. They're in the black car in front. <laughs> Not the blue one. The one in front of that. So uh, yeah, that's the wife taking the kids to school. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool for them to see their dad driving a truck behind them. Yeah, that's cool, man. Anyway, we are on our way to the sawmill. We're in a bit of traffic, as you can see. Um, so yeah, we'll just get there when we get there. I think once we get loaded and do Silverstone, I don't know what we're doing from there. I would have imagined it's just getting loaded for um, for Wednesday, because like I said, I'm off tomorrow. That noise, by the way, I've got hill climb mode on. So if I let go of the brake, that's telling me that the brakes are about to release as a delay. So that's what that noise is. But yes. Anyway, it's nice to see the wife and kids. Anyway, let's crack on to the sawmill. See you in a minute. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, we are at the sawmill. We are getting loaded. Uh, let me show you what we have on board right now. Just strapping up as we go. Here we go then. So we are strapping up as we go. We put three straps on already. Um, we've got to throw a couple of over in a second. Normally I use these short straps for these timber, uh, but they're not quite long enough. It's a little bit too tall. Um, I threw one over just to check, but as a general rule, if it goes above the bed a little bit, which is uh, the headboard rather, then chances are the short straps aren't gonna work. They're ideal for anything lower than the headboard because it just there's less to roll up basically on the other end and when you and when you retrieve it. So we're using these straps, which are basically the ones we used earlier for the pallets, they're the ones that go up and all the way around. Uh, big long ones, but it does mean there's more to unravel and do up on the other side, basically. So yeah, let's throw one over. Make sure there's a pallet on the other side, there is. We go. And then we're going to do it up. It wasn't quite the best for us, you can see it's ended up on the wrong pallet. <laughs> but um, just give it a little bit of a wrist flip, like so. There we go, now we can do it up on here. And then, this is why I use the shorter ones normally, rather than these long ones. Rather all these up, whereas on the shorter ones, you can get away with just tucking it in behind the, uh, the strap on the bed on the side. But these ones you've got to wrap up, roll up, and secure. 
like so. Okay, we are loaded. This is what we are taking to Silverstone. Lovely jubbly. We're just waiting for paperwork. Oh, good job I come around the inside. <laughs> I just, uh, just about to walk around to the driver's side. Just realized that this door's open. It's open on the other side as well. And I need to grab a strap. These ones are open as well, look. But I've uh, got a spare strap down here. So go and grab the strap. Thank you very much. Don't want to leave that there, it'll fall off. Let's put this away and then uh, just wait for the paperwork and then we can go. There you go, whack you in there. Close you, you're closed. You've got to be careful with these. They don't always shut, as you can see. I find I've got to sort of press this with my finger and then do it at the same time. It's hard when holding the phone mind. There we go. Same on the passenger side. All right, uh, yeah, we're just waiting for paperwork. Let's jump on in. Right, we are just about to come off the A43 to go to Silverstone. Got a convoy of army trucks in front, and yep, yeah, they're coming off. I think where we are going, yeah, they are. So <laughs> we're following the army trucks. Hopefully, I can't see us going all the way through the village. Oh no, no, they're carrying on. My bad, my bad. As I was gonna say, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine them going through the village unless they were going to Silverstone themselves. But no, they're carrying on down the A43. Look, so we are good. <laughs> we're clear. We're clear. Um, but yes, Silverstone, Silverstone. So this is the junction you come off to go to Silverstone if you're coming from the south, which is uh, the way I would come normally, obviously, to go to the track. And then uh, at the roundabout up ahead, you turn right to go to Silverstone Circuit. But we're not going to the circuit. We're going through the village. Um, it is a village, isn't it? I think. I don't think it's a town. I think it's a village. Well, we've got traffic lights here, have we? Yeah, we do. We've got traffic lights. But yeah, no, you'd go up that way to go to the circuit itself. But um, we're going to go straight on once we get through these uh, these traffic lights. Green lights, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Reaction times, come on. Everyone should go at the same time. Lovely, jubbly, lovely, jubbly. Yeah, it's a nice little place Silverstone is. There's um, what looks like a school, but well, I know it's a school. Not, it doesn't look like a school. It is a school. Uh, on the left-hand side, for everyone up, and it, you know, it looks like a like a, like a nice school to go to. Like, obviously, I've got kids, and it'd be something that you know, I'd be I'd be happy to send my kids to. It looks like a really nice school. We see it in a sec, uh, and you know, some of these houses look nice as well. I wouldn't mind living here, to be honest with you. Next to the track, I'd get a Silverstone membership, and I would be going to visit all the. All the circuits, not the circuits, all the tracks, all the races, I mean, like BTCC and all of that lot. I, I love it. Every weekend I would go to the track. It's a bit too far to go, as it is, where I live now. Like, it's a good couple of hours here. You know, a good couple of hours back as well. Maybe an hour and a half either way. But, yeah, you know, still, three hours driving. Uh, I wouldn't want to do that every weekend. Maybe for the odd weekend. But, yeah, some nice houses up here. I could, uh, I could see myself living in Silverstone. I'd love to work for a Formula One team. Are you actually stopping me? Yeah. I would love, like Aston Martin, for example, they're based in Silverstone. I would absolutely love to work for a Formula One team, driving. I've never done European work, but I'd like to give it a go, driving to all the circuits. Oh my God, I'd love it. I know I'd be away from home more often, um, but my wife has always said that if, if I wanted to do that, then she'd support me. I, I'm not interested in doing European work, but if it was for a Formula One team, then uh, then I would. But obviously, you're not you're not just going to get straight into a Formula One team. You got to have experience doing other stuff, haven't you? So that's not going to happen. But you know, you can dream. You can dream. That's that noise again. What is the noise? I think it's like heavy acceleration, or um, I don't know. Like I don't know. What is it? If someone knows what it is, let me know. Silverstone campsite as well, I think it's on the left down here. So uh, a lot of people could be walking to the track during like Formula One Grand Prix. Are they crossing? They're crossing. Give them a flash. 
I could see they were crossing before, before they were crossing. Observations. Yeah, so the school's here on the left, look. Um, Silverstone School. Lots of houses up there as well. Do you know what I mean? It'd be ideal. Looks like a primary school, though. Yeah, CF Primary. So I don't know where the secondary school is. I've got one, one door is about to go to secondary school next year, so we'd need something for her. <laughs> uh, but the youngest one is still at primary for two or three years. Yes, 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 yes. Silverstone, nice place to live. Would love to live in Silverstone. Would love to work for Aston Martin or any Formula One team. If I lived in Silverstone, then obviously Aston Martin would be ideal. If I could pick any Red, um, any Formula One team, I think Red Bull would be my favourite in Milton Keynes. Or McLaren is my favourite team, but I also like Red Bull as well, so either one. <laughs> Woking, Milton Keynes, either place. Obviously, you've got Mercedes, Brackley, you've got Aston Martin, Silverstone. And then you've got um, Williams, which is quite close to me, in Groove. Uh, Bambury, you've got Haas. And uh, I think that's pretty much it then. What am I missing? Renault, they're in uh, Enderstone, which are obviously now Alpine. Alpine. They're quite. They're in the Cotswolds. So te- uh, are they closer now? I think Alpine might be my closest team. You know. Not sure. Right, we want to take a left up here. I'm pretty sure Alpine's my closest team. <laughs> Turn left. Turn left. Oh, we know what we're doing from here. Uh, I'll talk to you about it when we're actually on our way. There's no point in talking about it right now. Okay, both lanes are currently being used, so we just need to wait here and get permission to go on down. Right, I do believe we are just about done. All good? We've got paperwork. Yes, we're all done. Just gone to go grab the paperwork now. So we're gonna go jump in the truck and wait for that. And uh, I'll tell you what we've got planned for the rest of the day. Lovely, thank you, mate. Thank you. Have a good day. Right, paperwork complete. Put that over here. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so. Make our way out of here. I think we've got a truck waiting to get in, I think. We do. Oh, it's a bit it's a bit snug. Yeah, we made that. Yeah, loads of room. Okay, so plan is uh, back to the yard. We're not quite finished. We've got to go get loaded from P.T. Allen, Swindon. Um, but we can't get loaded until four o'clock. We're going to be back in the yard at quarter to two. So we've got a near two hour wait. Um, so no rush, basically. 13.46. Yeah, 13.46. No rush. I'll probably head back to the yard anyway. I could do a filling up with our blue. And um, yeah, and then we just wait in the yard for an hour or a bit. Just over an hour or so, and then we'll crack on to PTO and Swindon. It's only around the corner. Get loaded. Uh, that's for Kieran to take um, tomorrow to Lapland. We've obviously already been to Lapland. I'm sure we'll probably go again at some point. Who knows? Maybe not. I don't know. But uh, nothing new there. You're not going to be missing anything because we've already already vlogged it in this uh, in this video, this channel. Not this video. Yeah, this channel. Let's go, 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 go. So, yeah, um, easy day today. I was expecting an easy day anyway. Uh, well, it was a bit of an early start, I suppose. We were in the, in the uh, yard at like five o'clock ish. So, it was a relatively early start. You know, I left my house at like half past four this morning. Um, and the day's relatively early. I knew I, that this was all I had to do today. It was just a question as to whether or not I needed to get loaded for Wednesday for myself or for somebody else, and it is, it is a case that I've got to get loaded for someone else. It's just unfortunate that, um, that they're not going to be there until four o'clock. I've got the guy's number who's loading me, so I might just drop him a quick text and just say, let us know if you can get there earlier, because I can be there for two. Might just do that, see what he says. But for now, we are going to pop 
back to the yard. So I will see you in a little while. See you in a bit. Right, we're in the yard. Let's turn some lights on. Um, yeah, we're in the yard. Got to get some blue. There she is. Lovely, that'll do. Don't need to go all the way up, we're not coming in. Alright, let's fill her up. Oh yeah. We've got to be real careful because it comes out quite quick and it fills up quite quickly as well. So we've got to listen out for it. You can hear what it's about to fill up. back on walk it up there we go lovely okay now we've got like a two hour wait so I'm gonna reverse back out of here park back up there and then I need to go shopping I'm not even joking I need to go get some shelves for the, for the house the wife's messaged me the dog's doing her head in <laughs> he's jumping up um, she's a childminder and we've got like a baby changing unit in the utility room apparently Lando our dog keeps jumping up and um, grabbing the nappies so need to get some shelves put them higher up <laughs> so we're gonna go to Wix's anyway let's park this thing up first right that's just parked up there temporarily oh, I've left my window open <laughs> that's, why, that's why you always check your truck before you leave it I left my window open. <laughs> Unlock. Open. Window. Thank you. There we go. Unlock back up. <laughs> right, so as I said, we've got to go to Wix's now. <laughs> go grab some shelves. Um, it's quarter past two. I've already spoken to the guy we're meeting. He reckons he's not going to be there until at the earliest four o'clock. Got a meeting in Oxford. He said he'd text me when he's leaving with an ETA from Oxford. It's at least an hour, and uh, I haven't heard anything yet. Okay, that's locked. So we've got the very earliest, the very least, we've got an hour. So we're going to pop to the uh, the local DIY store. Yeah, boy. Oh, I think I'll go for two of these white gloss ones of £16 each. And then uh, go for these brackets. I think they're 16 quid each as well. I'll do the job. Ooh, trolley's nearly fell. Okay, there we go. One. Two. And a couple of shelves, brackets, lovely. Right, we're back in the yard, just walking back to the truck now. Uh, but we've still got another hour to waste. So uh, yeah, just go sit in the truck, give it a clean, and uh, get there for quarter past four. He just phoned me, said he's an hour away. So it's quarter past three right now. So yeah, see you in a bit. Right, we are getting the first one on now. I think we've got three tanks going on and two units, I believe. That's what's going on. I'll tell you what, it's got very warm. It's 22 degrees now. I know that may not be hot for a lot of my international viewers, <laughs> but that in the UK, that is, that is warm. Right, we got uh, so two of these on, three tanks. Tanks are strapped up. We just got to strap these white ones up now. 
I need two more straps. Two more straps. Right, we're loaded. Get the engine on. Sorry, I, really sorry, I didn't get your name. Someone just come and gave me a water bottle. They drove past and they just come and said hello. And then they come back and said, get some fluids in here because I was really not sweaty. I can't remember, I didn't get your name, I'm sorry, but very, very much appreciated. Whoever you were. Huh. That's warm out there, you know, 26 degrees. It's a bit tighter in there than normal. Very tight in now. It would, uh, probably should have stayed out on the road, but you did, you did say come on in. But uh, never mind. Anyway, yeah, it's five o'clock now in the afternoon. We'll be back in the yard in about 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes. And uh, yeah, then we're done for the day. Pretty much go straight home. Should be home just after half five, give or take, which, uh, which is nice. But uh, yeah, let's crack on back to the yard. I will see you in a little bit. Oh, my water's gone. <laughs> Cheers again for the water. Very, very much appreciated. Mm. Oh, so good. Okay, that is us done. There we are, packed up. Boss is going to take that out tomorrow. We're done for the day. Nice, easy day today. Didn't really do too much. Um, obviously started nice and early to get to Chep. Slot loaded, first in line remarkable. Done a delivery to Stonehouse and then um, yeah back to the sawmill get loaded with timber for a silverstone and then a little bit of waiting around to uh, to go and get this load but nothing at the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Anyway that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time drive safe, stay safe. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.